I'm Dustin Cormier, and this is the How to Rock Astrology audio series. The information in this recording is copyrighted by Dustin Cormier, 2015, all rights reserved, except where noted in the recording. The following information on ascendant or rising signs comes from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook, copyrighted in 1989 by Stephen Arroyo, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. Guidelines to Interpreting the Ascendant Although the Ascendant is of deep and pervasive importance for each individual, there is no denying that it must be related to the rest of the chart, and especially to the Sun sign, in order to understand it thoroughly for a particular person. The Sun, after all, is the core identity, the very center of the consciousness, the way we assimilate much of our experience. Whereas the Ascendant, although it varies in importance from person to person, is not as central to the person's nature. It shows, among other things, the approach to life, but the sun shows life itself. The ascendant must serve the purposes, values, and creative goals of the sun for the individual to function happily and fully. A useful tool for understanding how a person's ascendant and sun sign interact is to compare the elements of the two factors. For example, a Cancer Sun sign person with a fire sign rising is usually far more extroverted, forcefully expressive, and confident than a Cancer Sun individual with, say, a more con conservative, self-protective Earth sign rising. For another example, an Air sign Sun person with a Water sign rising may appear much more emotional than he or she really is, whereas a Water sign Sun person with an Air sign rising may appear far more detached and less emotional than he or she really is. It should be pointed out that people are often relatively unaware of their ascendant nature as compared to their sun sign. In that sense, the ascendant is a factor that can be consciously developed further over time and consciously utilized to aid one's self-expression. I've known people who are relieved to find what their rising signs were since it finally gave them a way of identifying a very deep but only semi-conscious tendency in themselves. In some cases, the qualities and abilities symbolized by the Ascendant were just beginning to emerge, and learning the astrological keys to this factor helped personal development greatly. I should emphasize here that perhaps more than with most other factors in the chart, the early environment can encourage or suppress the expression of the Ascendant's energies, since it is a primary channel with which one interacts with the outer world. The reader should view the following comparative evaluations as guidelines and as questions to explore rather than as rigid statements of absolute truth. Taurus modality or quadruplicity. The Taurus modality is fixed, the determined energy mode. There are exactly four of these willful, determined signs in the zodiac belonging to the fixed modality. These include Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus, and they all share similar characteristics. These four signs are better able to focus and concentrate than the other eight signs. They share a deliberateness and a powerful ability to focus and endure, but they also share the challenge of avoiding stubbornness and close-minded rigidity. The Element of the Ascendant the element of the ascendant reveals the quality of energy flow directly vitalizing the physical body and the overall approach to life. Fire or air signs rising tend to conduct energy, encouraging active self-expression and dynamic expenditure of energy. Earth or water rising signs tend to conserve and resist the flow of vital energies, and hence indicate self-containment, sometimes self-repression, and the tendency of living within oneself. Earth signs rising, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. A matter-of-fact outlook. Focus on the material world and conservative attitudes can inhibit imagination, which is then allowed to limit the person's options and or restrain spontaneous self-expression. Steadiness and reliability are often well-developed and highly valued by self and others. Practicality and inborn patience give more tolerance for routine than other ascendants show. A systematic approach, usually along established channels, is the most common method of expressing oneself. Taurus Ascendant or Taurus Rising Methodical, controlled, measured movements that often seem like holding a pose. 
deep dislike of being rushed, strong aesthetic and pleasure-motivated streak in the nature. It can be lazy or steadily productive, but still insists on doing everything in one's own way and at one's own pace. Venus's sign position strongly affects how ambitious or dynamic the person is. Taurus Sun more often seems lazy than Taurus Ascendant, probably because the Sun is the essential vital energy. And Taurus Sun also seems to be more predictably possessive. Both want to enjoy everything they do, and therefore they refuse to rush anything lest they interfere with the pleasure they are deriving from the here and now. An extremely physical and sensual approach to life, and a strong need for closeness, affection, and security. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's classic text, Astrology, A Cosmic Science, copyrighted in 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. Taurus on the Ascendant. Strong, stable, and stubborn. Slow in reflexes. Quiet until pushed too far, then there is trouble. Passive personality. Quiet and unassuming as a rule. Very possessive and fixed in convictions. Resources and possessions, whether people or finances, are very important. Cannot be pushed, but can be coaxed. Cannot be driven, but can be led. Practical. Good financial sense, and they're affectionate. Horse ascended people are good workers, but cannot be hurried. Difficulty with studies due to a slow pace of mind. Inclined to put on weight, for there is a love of good food. Short, thick neck with square type of body. Non-aggressive, patient, and long-suffering. Can be unreasonable and prejudiced when pushed too far. Jealousy must be conquered if Venus or Mars is afflicted. The following information comes from The Secrets of Your Rising Sign by William Lamb with Webb Harris Jr., Copyrighted by William Lamb in 2004, first published in the USA by Fairwinds Press in Gloucester, Massachusetts. I do not own the following content. Taurus, the banker, the beast of burden, is steady as she goes. People with Taurus rising are deliberate, focused, and don't like to be rushed. As children, they're generally slower about things, absolutely stubborn, grouchy when hungry, and not easily roused from sleep. Into maturity, these characteristics remain. These people are bothered by impracticality and are sometimes vain and a little grumpy. They need their animal comforts. They're keep it simple stupid types. Potential pouty faces and sticks in the mud. They're usually generous though and always steady with their efforts. They often say, don't crowd me, get out of my way, I know what I'm doing. Physical type. Broad shoulders, low voice, a broad smile with lots of teeth. Possibly a plodding gait, with a bit of clumsiness in the feet. Favorite colors? Pastels. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's Astrology, a Cosmic Science, copyrighted in 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. The Significance of the Sun and the Sun Sign in Astrology The symbol of the sun in astrology is a circle with a dot in the middle, this is a very deep occult spiritual symbolism. The circle represents the eternal self that did not start here and does not finish here on earth. The dot in the middle represents the divine spark at the center of every living cell, the light which lighteth every man with which cometh into the world. It is the point of light at the center of every living cell. In the blueprint, the sun represents the main expression of the individual, the heart and core of beingness. The sun has a different effect on individuals born at different times of the year. According to the sign and house in which the sun is placed, we are able to judge the general vitality and physique, the qualities of leadership, and the individual's ability to succeed in life. In a personal chart, the sun represents the basic drive for significance, the will, male relationships and female charts, especially with the father vital energy coming from the etheric levels and prana, fuel on which the total personality operates, urge for power, constitutional strength, and finally, a powerful sun means very great power to do and to be. Keywords of the sun. 
will, individuality, spirit. The sun is the significator of the spirit in man, the beingness or isness of life. It rules the basic drive for significance, the will to be. Physically, the sun is the sustainer of life, giver of light, heat, and energy. More than anything else in the chart, it shows the will, man's highest expression. Its aspects show deep character traits, the chief ambitions. It needs aspects to the planets for strength of expression in the horoscope. As the sun moves through the signs, it's return to the sign of its exaltation, Aries, the eastern horizon, marks the beginning of the astrological year. Springtime brings the release of a new cycle of life. As the sun moves through the houses, its return to the eastern horizon is the beginning of the astrological day, sunrise. The sun sign in its element. The following information comes from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook, copyrighted in 1989 by Stephen Arroyo, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. The sun sign's element is usually dominant in considering the overall psychology of a person. This is so because the sun sign's element reveals the attunement of one's basic vitality, identity, and power of self-projection, as well as the fundamental quality of his or her consciousness. The element of one's sun sign reveals the basic inner force motivating everything we do. The element of the sun sign also gives insight into how any individual sees life itself and what expectations they have of the life experience. Cancer Sun Cancer is a water sign. These are the common characteristics of people born with the sun and water signs. Basically motivated by deep emotional yearnings and desires. Recharges energy through intense emotional experience and intimate involvement with people. Interpretive guidelines for the sun and cancer. Experiences strength through nurturing, sensitive, mother-like qualities. Feels instinctive urge to protect one's ego. Builds inner self a nest from which it can safely radiate. Levels of vitality and creative energy depend on moods and so are difficult to maintain. Expresses self creatively through emotions and feels need to be recognized for sensitivity. Sense of individuality is expressed most clearly in a familiar, sheltered environment or situation. This final article comes from The Secrets of Your Rising Sign by William Lamb with Webb Harris Jr. Copyrighted by William Lamb in 2004, first published in the USA by Fairwinds Press in Gloucester, Massachusetts. I do not own the following content. Cancer born in the wee hours. Cancer with Taurus rising. These people are too serious and need to lighten up and be more playful. Sometimes they actually need to learn how to have a good time because no matter how much money they make, more is never enough for these folks. Whenever Taurus is involved in any combination, there's bound to be a great deal of intensity and a need to be more buoyant, and Cancer with Taurus rising is no exception. These folks feel their disappointments too deeply and aren't resilient enough with a tendency toward heightened emotions and a thin-skinned sensitivity. Their bull-headed Taurus personality can render them angry and unforgiving when they feel they've been slighted. Objectivity is the key. Pouty-faced Taurus can make for a real sad sack if there's no ability to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So, lighten up and move along should be the name of their game. With sufficient objectivity, these Cancerians can benefit greatly from Taurus's natural generosity and bottom-line focus. They're diligent and thorough, never leaving even the most difficult jobs half-finished, always following up on leads and doing everything possible to close a deal. Taurus, the banker, demands that time and money be invested profitably, that there's a payoff for every effort. Coupled with Cancer's avarice, these characteristics can lead to a limitless appetite for money and power. These people rarely understand that more is never enough, and might well be drawn to financial vocations involving banking or brokering. They love the cha-ching of a cash register. But they're not misers. They willingly share their comforts and show their love and appreciation with material gifts. Sometimes cancers with Taurus rising seem somewhat dull. 
They appear to have few interests beyond going to work and making money. They're very demanding people, demanding of others and demanding of themselves, and they don't like to be disappointed. Their cancer subjectivity often makes them feel as though the pain and frustration of disappointment will never end. Ultimately, they work so hard to make things fruitful that they run the risk of alienating friends and colleagues. But when they lighten up, they're able to reveal that there's much more to them than meets the eye. They might be quite the history buff or art direct collector. They're in tune with the aesthetics of wood floors and vaulted ceilings, as well as the sublimest tastes of gourmet dishes. They even enjoy a simple casserole if it's prepared with attention to the recipe. They might be much more well-read and well-traveled than others suspect. So if these cancers will step back, look at things with a cool, calm, and collected objectivity, and allow their natural generosity and opportunity to express itself, they'll always be appreciated by friends and neighbors as more than just a successful business person.